Lance again from HealthySimulation.com. I'm at IMSH 2014 in San Francisco, standing next to Honorog from EMS, which is now uh, rebranding itself a little bit here uh, at the show for the first time. Uh, this gentleman is the founder and current president uh, of the organization. So, uh, if I remember correctly, you guys started in 1999 and were the kind of the first on the scene to be doing stuff in the simulation space. Yes, we started off primarily more in the standardized patient environment and we were doing a number of OSCEs and we worked with the National Board of Medical Examiners as well as at that time uh, ECFMG which was Education Commission for Foreign Medical Graduates and they were starting their um, exam for the uh, second year what they call is the clinical skills assessment sure. and complex two so we designed and built it for them and then we learned that this could be an opportunity actually to go in and talk to medical schools out there our first medical school was really in 2001 uh, that came on board out there but it was a challenge in the beginning because you were educated and training why do they need something like this right. actually even to maintain and support the environment they were doing in a pace of paper and were happy about it or we're doing it with a VCR and a VHS tape. Right. <laughs> that. So the here thing, we are many, many years later and the industry is starting to finally catch on yes. as the, the technologies become uh, readily more available, and slightly more affordable and much more understandable. Yes. So there's been a lot of education to that. So tell me first a little bit about Simulation IQ. That's a new branding that I'm seeing here at IMSH 2014 for the first time. Yeah, so Simulation IQ is our product branding out okay. there. Um, you know, when you go through an evolution of about nearly 14, 15 years out there, you've built a number of products in that area and they have had their own names and somehow evolved through it. So we've gone through a number of products and their life cycles from the original product that we designed called Clinical Skills Training and Evaluation to Arcadia to Orion to uh, Sim Express, Sim 1HD. So we thought really for our clients and our users as well as prospects, one thing what we could do is try and simplify for them to understand who we are and what we do. And Simulation IQ made sense because it was, uh, we're talking about uh, data and analytics. Uh, it's not only about uh, collecting information, but it is also about really how do we analyze and look at that data and information. This is the big data age, so making sure that we are in that environment and all our products our focus towards that simulation industry that we are working yes. on. Yeah. So also here at IMS 2014, we're launching a new product. Uh, something behind me here, what, what is this one called? Well, so this product is more uh, something what is called a case master. Case, case master. Yeah, okay. case master is really about uh, designing and building new cases so that learners could actually achieve certain uh, repetitive and cognitive uh, skills as they go in and practice different skills out there. So working with the simulation environment, whether it's in the pre-activity or post-activity, et cetera, uh, the ability for them to go in and really reach out and understand better what, what their skill level is and how they can understand better simulation activity during live activity that they might be doing. All right. Well, uh, can we take a look at it? Sure. This is a simplified product of managing a number of different cases. Uh, you, what you're seeing is really a learner's uh, view out there you can go in and get the details of any case what they are and how it will run for them you can go in and see the case details and the patient dashboard and the vitals and then can really run the case as you're looking for it you can go in and maybe the authors will design and build these cases and then the learners will have the ability to go and practice and once they practice they can get uh, the debrief details etc that they might be looking for whether interactively with the author and others in the institute or maybe just independently also as to what was the expectation from that particular case. So it provides a tool for con uh, reinforcing certain repetitive activities that a user might want to do. Uh, because simulation is all about practicing in a safe environment certain events or activities. So better to do it out here and then maybe practice on mannequins and then really go out into the real world. And this gives you, while, while the activities in uh, uh, simulation world, when you go and practice on mannequin, is an expensive process. This gives you another way of virtually being able to do and practice on different cases and scenarios. Because this is also a simulation activity, 
it's really about uh, being able to practice before uh, a simulation activity or maybe even after a simulation activity. There are certain cases that can be designed and defined by different authors and users out there. And then based on that, you can go and practice one or maybe 20 times before you perfect it out there. Is there a way to share cases between users across schools or something? Yeah, if absolutely. To? Yeah. Okay. So this will allow them complete flexibility when a user wants to publish a case. They can publish it either privately, which is within the school or program, or they can publish it uh, in publicly and then it is available to other schools and programs also. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate the information. And where can folks learn more about EMS and Simulation IQ? Well, so folks can go to our website, called, uh, the new website, which is uh, www.simulationiq.com, and they'll get a chance to see some of our newer products and solutions out there. Great. And uh, it's very well laid out uh, with the new layout structure of the, for the products makes it simple and easy for anyone to understand. Great, so a new brand, a new website, and a new product to check out at simulationiq.com.